All right, we're hitting the button. Hello, world. It is episode two with Content Cucumber. We're back and more excited than ever to be sharing our ideas, our thoughts, and maybe even our dreams with our audience. Chris, what is on your plate today as a Content Cucumber? Well, um, I am working on the first ever marketing meeting for our new daily newsletter, which, you know, is kind of a top secret thing. So if you're seeing this, then, uh, you know, subscribe to our email list. It's coming up and it's going to be very exciting. It's going to blow the content cucumber out of the blog out of the water, which I think is really saying something. Sam, what do you got for us today? Yeah, right now I'm working on uh technology that's going to help us work with jar hq jar so if there's any jar people watching this video um working with your software right now um jar hq gotta love it yeah yeah well i can make sure that one of them watches this <laughs> well <laughs> they are <laughs> i am ready to see some updates to the api <laughs> Uh, and I see that you guys have a lovely new jar for yourselves, and we'd yeah, love it if you were sharing. Jar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> well, so we got some jar going on. We got some marketing going on. I'm going to be making a training video today, which is always fun. Um, I think there's just something special about creating a video format and sharing um, that just feels a lot more kind of intimate and real than any other kind of content in some ways to me. And I'm excited to be doing that for our team. I'm excited to be launching this series for everybody else. And of course, as always, we're excited to be writing awesome blogs for all of our clients. Yes, and we can also write descriptions for video content. So if you want to make more videos, we can help you with that. Uh, cause I also I've noticed that writing descriptions for videos kind of is difficult. If you look at all the descriptions I've written for Chris's corner or for hello world, they all are terrible. It's literally just the first thing that can come up to my mind that I think is funny, but it, it's not really relevant. And it's not like it would not help you find that video at all. It's like Chris decides to attempt to drink coffee while being on video today. And like that would literally be what I'd put. And it has nothing to do with what we talked about. I just thought it was funny. So video descriptions are something even I actually something we've with. gotten into more and started working with more clients on as well. But remember, we can also do web copy, we can do uh, social media posts, we could take a stab at just about anything. But remember our bread and butter, definitely blogs, product descriptions anything that you can provide an example of what you're looking for and that is reasonably straightforward that could use a little bit of humor a little bit of pizzazz a little bit of inform entertain inspire content cucumber can definitely write for you anyway sam you want to give us some closing thoughts for this episode of hello world on tuesday hmm. well, what are you looking at the website i'm going to make a request this is some good content right here. Ooh, I'm so ready to update that homepage to the website. I don't like that you have to go all the way to the bottom to manage your account. I'll, I'm going to make the new homepage very customer friendly. <clears throat> but also sales friendly. The perfect homepage. What is this oh my gosh. Are you two? requesting a video description for this video that we're making? This yeah, is dude. so meta. Yeah, nice. <laughs> this is like next level meta. Other, please help write a description for this episode for this pepsi <laughs> for this episode see i'm not the writer here i'm the requester all right so it's the beauty of content cucumber anyone right can do i don't it. have to be i don't have to be good at grammar i just or spelling i just have to be good enough that they know what i'm saying <laughs> Please, please help write a Have description. Have you ever gotten an article request where it's just like, what is this person even talking about? <laughs> well, let me give some advice on that, especially if there's any writers watching this. Ask the client. If you don't know what the client wants, ask the client. Communication is always the correct answer. And 
that goes for everyone, not just our clients. I think that's a great philosophy to live by, especially in, when you're working on projects. Um, I think communication is, is really key to success in a lot of endeavors. A, um, if there's a client and they want to talk to their writer, how do they normally do that? Like if a client wants to ask a writer something. Well, the first method and the most common way is by leaving a reply in Jar HQ. And the reason why that's a great way to communicate is because if you have lots of open requests, you can leave specific comments on each article and your writer will know exactly what you're talking about and there's no risk for confusion. That said, a lot of clients also like to talk to the writers via email. Wait, and what are you writing, Chris? <laughs> 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 Wait, what what are you reading <laughs> it's like it just goes into like weird random nonsense <laughs> yeah because he was talking about what's the weirdest request you got so i'm helping like submit the weirdest request i would like all of it to be good Here see well this does make tip. for some good content though it's going to be very confusing for the writer who gets it although i guess we'll find out if they want <laughs> how they communicate it. right and we'll put that on the next episode Please backwoods and always potato the sweet. Did you so just much. like auto click the <laughs> word or something? No, actually, I I just like every random word just auto fill from your brain. Mm -hmm. Okay, well including, maybe let's at least tell the writer check out the video, <laughs> <laughs> including. How, but we, this is how can I link to the video because I'm going to submit this while we're on the video. Um, I guess I would probably mention that in your description. <coughs> Or just finish the video and then click okay, the and then hit the submit here. button. Submit requests. Uh, shit. I mean, I mean, the shit. title is already "Hello World" episode two, so that's pretty self-explanatory. Although, creating a training video for our clients to help them learn how to make awesome requests is a great project that we should work on soon. And in terms of encouraging clients to make great requests that are going to be successful, I would say this article right here is a pretty good example of what not to do. like <laughs> <laughs> nonsense, we can't understand it. Although for a video, I don't think the description has to be that great because all you really I mean, the idea is you watch. Well, I don't know because that YouTube SEO is very important. No, but what I'm saying though is it's not not the description is important, but I'm saying the description of what like Chris's description right now. Oh, because the person always has the video to watch. watch. Yeah, I see what you mean. Still though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 400 words, and we don't need an image. I'll submit another request called "This is the link." Cool. And so now you can see, world, that this is what it looks like when you have an open content cucumber request. And I can look at it, and I can even be like, actually, I'll post the link here. Because I don't actually, I can just do that. I just now realize I can do that. Mm -hmm. All right, Very well, cool. anyway. Now you know something that you may have not known before. And I don't know what that is but hopefully it's something. It's a pretty cool demonstration of JAR. But anyway, thanks for watching, world. We're excited to do our third episode, and we hope to see all of you and some new faces. Goodbye, Good like, world. Smash that subscribe button. Yes.